Reggie brought his bats with him, and uh, he looked at me and he looked at Mickey and said he uses sticks too, meaning the dowel poles. Because Reggie said to me, or uh, Mickey said to me, I'm going to bring Reggie out and you guys are going to love each other, and you'll understand why. Well, I understood immediately because Reggie was looking at the same body lines I was looking at. And he was fascinated by the grip size content. And Reggie told me something very interesting that day. Reggie was, when he retired, he was second to mantle in home runs from both sides of the plate. And Reggie told me that when he hit from the left side of the plate, I think it was the left side, he used a different bat handle from the right. He used a larger bat handle from the left than he did from the right. So what I said, why? He said, well, it just felt different, felt better. And years later, we've measured his hands, and hand size is very different. Going into the lab, I knew at the time Sedinella Hospital was for sale. Uh, Frank Job was approaching retirement. Uh, and I realized that this was going to be one shot. And much to the dismay of the lab director, I did everything I possibly could in this study. Um, 75 different setup positions. Um, and we had 40 ele light electrodes on the body. In each shoe, we had 1,000 sensors that would measure force, called F scan. And the whole study was about balance. And going in, I said, well, let's do some things that we know will work. We know that in golf instruction are factual. We had 25, 26 players. We had 12, uh, we had 25. We had 12 amateurs and 13 pros. And uh, from that, we had each protocol from setup to takedown was three hours. 75 different setup positions with four different grip sizes without a club and then each set of position with four different grip sizes. Uh, each one was a distinct measurement. Uh, we would set the player in their position, say ready, and they would fire the cameras and, and gather the data from the shoes from the F-scan. So we had 75 distinct data points to look at with every player. After that, we had them hit 20 putts uh, with four different grip sizes and make 20 swings with uh, four different grip sizes with six irons. Let's put these players in shoulder width stands. That's a, that's a gold standard in golf instruction, shoulder width stands. We found very quickly, after the first five, 10 subjects, that shoulder width stands was the worst position of balance for about 80% of the players. Worst position of balance. So I thought, this is interesting. And the only way we knew it was because of the, uh, the uh, inserts in the shoes that, and the data we were gathering it was apparent on the screen. Um, then we had them go two inches wider, two inches narrower. And out of that began to realize with a lot more computations over the next five, six years that we all have a different body signature in terms of stance width based upon body mass. So now we have grip size and we have um, stance widths. There is a progression, mathematical progression, of points where we are in balance, and we are not on one of those points or within a half inch of those points. We're out of balance. Uh, my brother-in-law, the physicist, has been just phenomenal in the work he's done in revising formulas to the point that we're able to put it online, uh, to the point that we now know the body mass numbers that we can predict stance width, and it's accurate. Uh, and grip size and putter grip size and baseball bats uh, with the research you've done with Reggie uh, that's where we came up with a bat size. The fascinating thing about baseball is that we see it is parallel to golf. It has been parallel to golf. You take a baseball bat and you get set and you look at that hitter's posture you, there is something and looking at, at golf swings you'll see boy that, that is those angles are so nice that's body symmetry, and you'll see the same thing in good hitters. Uh, that the angle that bat is held is this angle of power. The angle of impact, the shoulder angle, as in golf, is that angle of power. It's also this same angle as the arms hang at the side. So basically what, what it comes down to is, um, is not just research and look what we found. It's what we can bring back to you. Um, the athlete, whether you're a weekend or you're a professional, no matter what, we can uh, increase your ability to rotate. You're going to be able to create, le create leverage. 
there's going to be less physical trauma, less pain, uh, and your performance is going to be enhanced. You're going to pick up half a club to a full club in distance simply by being able to move differently and in balance.